channel and this is your girl Megan with fit financial planning working out your own financial plan wait what what do you mean working out my own financial plan don't I need a financial advisor of course you need a financial advisor but remember the financial plan starts with you you are the common denominator all right when it comes to the financial plan stick with me and i'll tell you and i'll show you how if you're a new subscriber welcome if you're returning welcome back i hope these videos and this channel has been valuable to you now megan explain this working out your own financial plan well before we get to that we need to first understand the fundamentals of financial planning the fundamentals and the basics of each aspect of financial planning what are the different aspects of financial planning well first of all it's your investment planning then under investment planning, you get your retirement planning, which is a huge component of financial planning. Then you get your risk planning, which under that we get your life cover, disability cover and critical illness. Then we get your tax planning, where we discuss the fundamentals and the importance of tax and how tax influences all these other aspects. Then we look at short-term insurance. That is another um, aspect that falls under your risk planning. Then we look at health planning. Um, under this, we then find our you know, medical aid, your gap cover, and your health insurance. So under all these aspects, these are the fundamentals of financial planning. But before you can even look at your own financial plan, you need to understand these products. I'm pretty sure that most people that are subscribed to my channel already have these products. All right. You already subscribe to these products. You've already purchased these products. Um, you are invested in these products. You have insurance. Probably you have short term and long term life insurance. You probably do have medical aid whether you're paying for it yourself or through the company, um, you do have some form of investments, or whether you are investing via you know, the stock market, via shares, you already have an understanding of, of, of these products. And the fact that they fall under financial planning means that a financial planning aspect is already incorporated in your life, whether you like it or not, whether you have a financial advisor or not. So in this channel, I want you to know the basics. Once we understand these products and we understand the basics of these products, then we can build on that. And then we can finally um, understand what the significance of having these products within your financial plan. Then when you sit down with a financial advisor, you are able to ask the questions that are going to help you, you know, benefit from these products are going to help you expand on these products they're going to help the longevity of these products um, and also you know these products are not just products that you you have because you have them but they serve a specific purpose in your life so by understanding the type of purpose that these products serve in your life you are able then to make the right decisions all right. So with fit financial planning, this is a concept where we are in the gym, guys. We are in the gym of life. Being an adult is hard work and we got to work out this adulting thing. OK, we got to We got to have it cracked out. Guys, before I forget, estate planning, estate planning is so vitally important. And that's another element of financial planning that is fundamental, you know, in your financial plan. All right. Remember, um, there's a video uh, that I did last week. It was National Wills Week in South Africa, where, you know, the public were 
encouraged to draft wills and to make sure that they've updated their wills because you need to make sure that this entire financial plan is protected the entire financial plan the legacy continues from generation to generation and the only way of doing this is to make sure that you have a proper will and an estate plan in place okay it doesn't matter how big your estate is or if you just own a toothbrush a will is important so join me on this journey as we build up and as we continue in this journey there is a lot that we still need to cover there's a lot of fundamentals we need to learn there's a lot of basics we need to get through but get through them with me i have got an entire roadmap for this channel and guys it's still gonna get really interesting i plan to post two videos a week on a tuesday and on a thursday on any topic that we're going to be discussing and please turn on your notification bell so that you are notified when I drop a new video. Guys, a lot of my content is evergreen. A lot of these concepts won't change in the next 10 years. Okay, what will happen is they will evolve to suit the type of landscape and life that we're living. But a lot of the fundamentals and basics are going to remain the same. They've been here for hundreds of years and they're still going to be here for a very long time. I encourage you to watch the first, I think, five or six of my videos. I know the quality might have not been great. My energy might have not been great. Guys, I was starting out and I didn't know what I was doing, okay? But your girl is getting better at it and I'm enjoying this. And you can see it in my latest videos where I'm smiling, I'm happy, and I'm energetic because this thing is in me and I want to share it with you. So that is why I'm doing all of this. This is a love letter from me to you. <laughs> so in the description below, I've linked a few videos that I would love you to go and watch if you haven't watched them before. All right. I want you to understand the process, the financial planning process. There are six steps to it. All right. In the description below, the first six videos I want you to watch. All right. I want you to watch them. I want you to learn from them. If you have any questions, please email me um, in, in the comment section. Comments. Let's engage. And I would really love to, you know, get your thoughts about this channel. And if you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I always say, if you're going to spend an hour on social media, at least take 15 to 20 minutes of that hour learning something new all right i try to make my videos short but i try to also make them i'm um, quite informative and i use myself and my life experiences as examples in some of these videos so uh, because i want you to understand that the financial plan is within everyone all right and it starts with you before you even meet with the financial advisor you need to understand what your financial plan looks like what are your goals you know your five-year goals, 10-year, 20-year goals. How do you want to retire? You know, what are your assets? Do you know what your assets are? What, what are your liabilities? You know, you have a budget and I'm pretty sure that in that budget, you're already paying um, for medical aid. You're already paying for life insurance. You're already paying for short-term insurance. You're already paying for, uh, you're already investing some money, whether it's in, you know, um, the markets via shares or whether it's in, you know, uh, unit trusts. You're already contributing to a retirement annuity. You already have most of these products, but we need to now break down the basics. I need you to understand how these products work and what they what they are. All right. So with my 10 years working experience, you know, as an administrator, I want to give this information to you free of charge. All right. I am allowed to give factual information, and all the information I give you is factual. All right. Um, I am not here to give you advice, but I can point you into the right direction. I can explain and break down how the products work. And should you need a financial advisor urgently, pop me an email. I know a few financial advisors who are great at what they do and I understand what type of offering they offer. And I'd be able to um, direct you to the correct people. But it's also up to you to make sure that whoever you are dealing with is registered with the FSCA. And I do explain that in one of my videos that I have 
linked below. So watch those videos so that you know when you meet with someone that you're meeting someone who understands the six steps of the financial planning process and who is registered with the FCA. Also, thirdly and lastly, I want you to understand your own financial plan and I want you to also use your gut feeling and if you feel that this is a great match then it is and if you feel that you're not feeling this person and they're not a great match then it's not it's not the person for you all right i like to think as as finding a financial advisor and a client it's like a, it's like a dating game because let me tell you why a lot of financial planners and their clients are the same guys you will not understand i've worked with different financial advisors and i can tell you now is that the financial advisor attracts a like person so if you're working for a great financial advisor and he's got a great personality trust me all his clients are going to gravitate towards guys it's the law of attraction okay like attracts like and i'm sorry if you're working for a financial advisor who is then their clients are Anyway, I love all of you guys and thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll enjoy all my videos. This is just a new trailer where I just want to break down where we're going with this channel, okay? Trust me, we are going somewhere, okay? And if you want to know a little bit more about me, in the description below, there is an introduction video where I introduce myself and in the description, I get, just give you a little bit background of who I am and why I'm doing this. Okay, so until the next one, guys, thank you for watching. Yes, take care and God bless.